Amazon's The Rings of Power show will not fail. It is impossible for it to fail. It may receive horrible audience reviews like so many of these other race-baiting panderfests we've seen published in the last decade, and it will very likely lose money, seeing as how the show is the most expensive entertainment product ever created. But these facts are inconsequential because the show is not being created to entertain nor to make money for Amazon. The show is being created rather to spite demoralize and destroy the fans of the traditional Tolkien-esque fantasy setting, a group who happens to be the bane and number one enemy of the modernist movement, white men. No producer in their right mind thought that inserting so many out-of-place black characters into what is clearly a European-inspired fantasy world would make the show more entertaining or more compelling as a piece of art. But they did think that it would make the show, air quotes, better. Better at accomplishing their goals, that is. As long as even a few hundred people watch this show, it will be spun into a monumental victory for them because they've entered into what has always been white man's territory and removed white men from it. And while this is just an entertainment series, it's important to take note of this since it is, of course, a microcosm of what is happening in the West at large. To take this victory is more than worth the multi-billion dollar price tag the series has on it. And frankly, Amazon doesn't even have a direct way to make money off of the series. Rather, it will all be reckoned in nebulous figures such as views, subscriber count, merchandise sales, and press coverage, none of which can be directly tied to a dollar amount because of the show, and none of which we can even verify as outsiders. Even the audience score on Rotten Tomatoes is suspect when Amazon has billions of dollars and Bangladeshi click farms can be hired for pennies. So basically, Amazon can say the series made them however much money they want to say it did. And the company has so much money anyways that they basically don't need to ever worry about making more. It's funny how that happens when you become the country's number one provider of everything. So dispense with the boomer notion that companies even exist to make money. Money comes freely these days. There's no need for those blessed few among the elites to create value to come by it anymore. And now freed from their need to turn a profit, these companies have become nothing more than vehicles by which to promote their owners' political platforms. Oh, so the Lord of the Rings series will lose us a billion dollars? It's okay. The show is important. It's important to see POCs in a white space. Black Panther, though? Nah, Wakanda forever. Stay out, Whitey. By the way, just how was the original Lord of the Rings movie series so successful when it featured a 100% white cast? Well, minus half a Sam. This is just a theory, but perhaps everyone, even the most liberal among us, Recognize that this is natural. This makes sense because this is obviously based on this. And we know that this is natural, historical, and realistic. This could really happen. Meanwhile, things like this create things like this, not this. People don't like having their minds bent with the cognitive dissonance required to square these ideas in their head while they're watching an entertainment product. I've tried, trust me. But my mind absolutely refuses to accept this.